Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth, I am Sananda. My joy today is immense, because I can have the opportunity to be here with you again. You have no idea what this moment represents for me, when approximately 2000 years ago, after all the knowledge I acquired, all the awareness I received, I tried very hard to show the people of that time everything I had learned, the whole truth. But unfortunately that was not the right time. At that time I still didn't have this awareness, because what I received was so magnanimous, so wonderful that I didn't want it to remain just in my conscience, I wanted it to be known and understood by everyone. However, that was not yet the right time for people to understand all that. But I did my job, I implemented everything that was necessary, so that my words would never be forgotten. I can say that much of what I said was distorted to coincide with what the powerful people who took over this planet wanted you to believe. But this is no longer the case. Repeating this whole story doesn't add much anymore. I return to it because in the hearts of many, there is still doubt, there is still the inability to understand the manipulation that is carried out on your planet, the inability to see that divine love is not implanted on this planet. Today what exists is love for oneself, the ego in its most powerful and harmful attitudes, bringing power, greed and insensitivity to those around it. But many don't see that. And as you were led to believe, all this is punishment from heaven. You continue to believe that you are not to blame for anything, just that you are sinners, and as such, need to be punished. But how to eliminate sin, how to stop being a sinner? There seems to be no way out because the world itself, the very environment in which you live, leads to sin. So there is no way out. The solution is to continue sinning and continue to be punished eternally. This is what you have been led to believe. I didn't preach that, I didn't say that at any time. So the time is coming, when these doubts are still growing in their hearts, of what to believe, who to believe, have a solution. You can't serve two masters at the same time. You can't hear the truth and continue to believe what your religions preach. It's impossible. Because if you hear the truth, but continue to believe that the religion you have dedicated your entire life to is also correct, something in your heart is not right. You need to find the way, you need to find the right way to walk. We have already said here, not just me, several times, that of course religions are not 100% wrong, of course not. After all, they need to have something a little true, to make them believable, otherwise, they wouldn't attract anyone. But the fundamental point in this entire process is something called love for others. But what kind of love? The love of God the Father or Mother, unconditional love. Ah, but Father or Mother God was not painted like that. He was painted as an old man with a white beard, who sits on a cloud judging everyone and everything, and who every now and then raises his index finger and casts a punishment on someone. This is the God that you know, that you were taught. But this God does not exist. The father or mother God that exists is pure love. It is a God who embraces the kind and embraces a murderer with the same love. And that's what you don't understand because you judge. How can he love two beings so different and one so horrible? Because he who emanates love has already learned his lesson. Now those who do not emanate love need to receive more love from God the Father or Mother, so that they can find the way. Not his judgment, not his anger, not his hatred. So it is quite capable of the first, Father or Mother God, giving a light hug and the second, carrying him on his lap, because it is the second one who needs help, not the first. But you were led to believe exactly the opposite, whoever does not walk the line of good is to be judged, mistreated, eliminated, which is what you have done your entire life. So understand, you can't follow two very different gentlemen. What do your religions preach, unconditional love? Answer me, do they preach this? There is no prejudice, there is no separation, there is no judgment, there is no criticism, 
is this what your religions do? I keep answering no. They judge, they criticize, they separate, they deceive, they involve, they act mentally on you to dominate you. This is what they do. None preach unconditional love. They even talk, quote, but don't act like it. Because if religions were the mirror of God the father or mother, they would not exist, because love would be spread across the planet, no one would need to worship anyone to be happy. Then they were subdivided into many points of view, each with its atrocities, each with its bizarreness. And you follow like sheep, following your shepherd. The moment is of a lot of light, the moment is of many doubts in your minds. Why? Because the light that is coming is doing this, it is bringing everything to the surface. Everything that is incompatible with the light is coming to the surface. So that each of you stops and notices where the truth is, where the path is. So don't feel anger, don't feel, even hate, about the difficult times you are going through. These moments are part of the last lessons you need to go through. Because it is based on these lessons, based on the results of the tests, that you will take the correct path or not. And what is the correct way? The path of light, in which there are no ways or means to reach God the Father or Mother, there are no ways, there are no means to reach me, there are no forms, there are no means to reach Mary or any other being of light. There is only the heart, there is only love, and this is how you reach us. They don't need religion. They don't need someone showing them the path, which he was taught to give them. So I say again, you can serve two masters. Either you open up and free yourself from beliefs, dogmas, concepts that do not lead to unconditional love or you have a big problem on your hands, because this is the wrong path. No religion will take you to the fifth dimension. Because they are not and do not exercise unconditional love. Each of them has its dogmas and beliefs that are beyond limiting. And these beliefs prevent them from taking you into the full light of the fifth dimension. If you think that everything I'm saying is blasphemy, that it doesn't seem like I, the Christ, is saying these words, I'll just say this, take a test. Come to me, not through the paths taught to you, come through your way, through your heart. It could just be a simple hi. Can you talk to me? And if this hi, can you talk to me, comes from the bottom of your heart, I will answer you, hi, I'm here, we can talk. There are no rules, there are no predefined or preassembled words for you to reach us. Take this test. Seek each one of us with your heart, in your own way, in your own way and you will find us, with nothing in the way, without there being a belief, a dogma something imposed for you to reach us. Take the test. And I'll say more, many of you try to reach us and don't reach us. Why? Because they continue to believe that they are not worthy, they continue to believe that this is an illusion, that they need to continue living within what they have learned, where we are up there, in a completely unreachable cloud. And each of you will follow your path, believing in what you were taught. So I repeat again, it is not possible to serve two masters. Either you believe that everything is there, at hand, close by, at your side, it just needs to be activated by the heart or you continue serving your religions. It doesn't work both ways. It's like standing with one foot on each side of the line. And whoever stands with one foot on each side of the line is not going anywhere, as your body needs to be entirely on one side. So just think about which side you want to be on, fully, whole. Which side? Just understand one very important thing, if you choose to side with your religion, nothing changes between you and us. We will continue to love you as we always have, because the choice is yours. Remember the scene I said at the beginning, that God hugs more tightly the one who needs him most, and we will do so with you. Because you still need a lot of help to free yourself from all of this. Nothing changes. The only thing you will be defining is your path, in remaining in the third dimension for a long time, so that you can see things clearly, 
letting the truth stand out in your eyes. And accepting that you were deceived, yes, for a long time. But if you don't want to see it that way and want to continue having a veil over your eyes, that's okay too. The choice will have been entirely yours.